Dear Zoe, this is now my third letter. I haven't heard back from you, so I hope you're getting them. I was thinking today about the last time I saw you. You were a little kid, clinging to your family. I was an 18-year-old, clinging to the idea of freedom. I remember your face when we took your dad away. It felt right to me, knowing you'd get clear of us. But in other ways, nothing that day felt right. I know my family scarred you for life. They left their mark on me, too. I wonder every day who I could have been if we hadn't robbed that house. There's a lot I want to say to you, Zoe. Ask things to explain. About how we came to be at the motel that night and what happened in the mountains a few days afterward. I'm sure you learned some of it as you got older, but there's other things I'm sure you don't know. Please write back, Zoe. I need to hear from you. Yours, Jay. Jay Holt, you are under arrest on the authority of the FBI. I'll admit, I thought you were smarter than to hightail it away from a highway checkpoint, but so be it. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Look, if you come out without a fight, I'll tell them that. The DA won't go for the death penalty if you cooperated. Is that true? Why would I lie? I'm trying to help you here. Let's go, let's go! Don't do it, kid. You'll never make it. If I live, you won't find me again. If you jump, you die. Even with a capital conviction, you could live 15 years or more, just on appeals. You know how birds learn to fly? Their moms push them out of the nest. And once they're falling, they got no choice. 
Contact Border Patrol. Let me know when they find his corpse. 